Hi, my name's Gus, and um, today I just want to show you a quick video on how to use um, an emulator for a Commodore Amiga. Um, basically, I have LaunchBox here, and it's great for um, a lot of games that you just click on and it runs straight away. But with the Amiga, you have some games that require um, the disk swap. You might have a game that has four disks, etc. So I find that rather than just going to LaunchBox and, and running the game directly through LaunchBox, it's easier just to go straight into the emulator. Uh, my emulator is actually in LaunchBox. Um, it's on my D drive. Um, so I'll just double click on that. Um, and then I just go into emulators. Uh, I look for my Commodore Amiga emulator. And then go into the, the launcher uh, of the FS uh, UAE uh, program emulator. Double click on that. Uh, once it loads up, uh, you should see this, um, and up here you'll see all these symbols, and what I normally do is, is just click on that floppy um, drive there, go to multi-select, um, and then this bit up here, you'll click on it, if, it's, if you've got your emulators, your games on your D drive, you go into your D drive, launch box, um, and then go into your games, find your Commodore Amiga games um, I've got these ready uh, just to show you these are ADF files but this particular FSUAE program will also run zips as well um, so we'll just crack on with um, this one uh, so what you do is you double click on the Sensible World of Soccer Disk 1 it will come up here um, and rather than opening all of these drives um, I find it's just simple just to click on the blue uh, plus sign here um, and it will take me back to the uh, folder then I just double click on Sense World of Soccer Disk 2 and in your media swap list here it's come up with the disk 1, disk 2 um, and then just to run the game all I do is click on start um, you find uh, on the emulator if your screen comes right to the bottom right just click on the middle button on your mouse you should get the arrow like this just left click and just drag it over like that um, and then all you need to do then is skip out of here is normally um, space or control or enter um, it could even be the left mouse button um, anyway if you do get that that mouse the white mouse there and it's annoying you just click the middle mouse button it goes and then you've got your your standard Amiga mouse pointer there um, and now being um, it is an ADF file um, which stands for actual disk format it runs just like the actual disk from an Amiga uh, computer um, so it's just a question of being a bit patient waiting for it to load up um, and the beauty with this program you will get that noise the drive noise so it gives you an indication that it's running and um, once the, it loads up um, we'll probably get um, kind of like an intro at the beginning a bit of music or whatever again we can skip that by pressing the keyboard space control enter or even the, the left mouse button I forget I, I just sort of like try them all until it until it skips it um, so all right I think that's loaded nope still loaded I think I just got to do I wait for the music to come up now I'll just press what should I press control button no oh yeah I did work yeah control is the one all right now it's probably gonna ask for this too here we go we got this too so basically with this FSUA um, emulator, what we do is we press F12 on our keyboard and then we get this menu on your right hand side and with your arrow up and down on your keyboard you um, click down to remove the media um, here you see Sensible World of Soccer highlighted in blue if you press enter on your keypad it comes up with the two um, disc programs um, the one that's greyed out at the moment, that's disc 1 uh, and the one that's obviously uh, highlighted that's disk 2 so what we do is we hover over to the the disk 2 I press enter on the keyboard and then the disk starts to run 
simple as that. Um, and that is literally all there is to it. Um, so I, I do find um, that it's easy just to go straight into the emulator and uh, run, run the games like that. And there you have it, job done. Um, there is another thing um, I, um, I, I actually will point out is um, if you ever wanted to save the game, um, again, um, press F12, um, use your arrow up and down, and you've got your load state and your save state. Um, if you go to save state and press enter, um, you should have all rows of empty like this. Um, at the moment, something has been saved every year, but um, I will just press enter on that just to save this section of the game now, like that, and that has now been saved. Um, now if you're wondering uh, how, how do I know it's been saved, well that's if I'm going to say I go over to um, options, there we are, options is flashing, I press F12, go to late load state, press enter, now that's the time, the date, that I saved it. Now, if I was to press enter now, it will direct, literally direct, can you say, directly take me straight back to the last part of the game that I saved. And hopefully, it should be where it was flashing on friendly. So let's press enter and find out. Boom, and it takes you straight back there. Um, simple as that. So uh, I hope this tutorial was uh, helpful and um, good luck and thanks for watching.